Hey guys, welcome back to another tutorial. Today's tutorial is going to be the first tutorial in a new series I'm doing on how to create a snake game in Encurses. Now today's tutorial is going to be a pretty short one. It's, you know, tutorial zero. It's like my intro tutorial video. Uh, I'm basically just going to be going over um, what we're going to be doing with this tutorial series and uh, just some, you know, getting some expectations out there. Um, so I've already come up with a proof of concept for the um, the program itself, and just uh, to get this ball rolling, I'll start the program right now. So first off, uh, you'll notice that it, I, I just stopped the execution. I, I just pressed P. I have it set up so if you press P, it pauses. Um, just to go over kind of the setup we have here. So we have a game board. Um, you'll notice that it looks like a square. Um, it's technically wider than it is long due to the way that characters are taller than they are wide but um, the idea was to make it look at least pretty square the snake has starts out with five pieces and um, every time we eat an apple it'll extend a length and add to our score as you can see we have our score down here as well um, and so just to demonstrate that I'll uh, hit P and we'll get started moving around uh, so we can grab that A you see it'll add one to our score um, and then I'll add one to our snake as well. There are six now. Um, so, and every time we add, or every time we eat an apple piece, um, it, it's going to add another piece to our snake and add another uh, point to our score. Um, so, the program might not look exactly like this when we're done. This is just, you know, kind of a proof concept I came up with the other day just because I'd never actually made snake before. So, I just wanted to come up with something that works. Um, so it might look a little different than this, you know, it might start out with three pieces instead of five or, you know, points might be in hundreds instead of one, you know, it might have a different look or it might have different character for Apple, I don't know, might be different size board, that kind of thing. Um, but uh, this is the general idea of what we're going to be making with this tutorial series. Um, also another disclaimer, I mean, this, obviously this code is going to run well. Um, but it's not going to be, this is not meant to be overly optimized or efficient code, and it's also not the only way to do it. Um, so I'm sure there's a million ways to make a snake game. I'm just doing one that I've come up with, um, you know, kind of on the spot. Not really on the spot, but, you know, I'm coming up with something, and it might not be the best or most optimized, but it's more just so you can get a feel for how you would go about making a game like this. Um, so anyways, I hope you guys like this tutorial. I hope you're excited for the, um the the next tutorial in the series where I'll, I, I'll probably start by just we'll probably start by building the game board itself um, and maybe we'll get to the snake in the first tutorial probably just the game board and uh, like the score board and stuff like that to start out um, in the next tutorial but anyways yep hope you guys like this uh, hit that like button if you like this subscribe if you want to see more stuff like this um, and put any comments below if you have any um, you know questions or if you have some you know ideas for this tutorial series or if you, you know, have any requests please put those down below uh, otherwise I'll see you guys in the next video